Hello, crafty cuties. Welcome back to Paper Terrace. If you're new, I'm Jessica. In today's video, I'm going to show you what I sent to my Patreon members for the month of May for the 70s flower power theme. I have some extras left, and so stay tuned till the end so I can explain to you a little bit more about that. And I also have a quick little haul that kind of goes along with this. And then we're also gonna do a quick little layout in my inspiration journal. So let's start with the haul because I actually ordered some vintage playing cards to go along with these packs because I thought I was going to run out of the vintage playing cards that I was including, but I actually ended up having enough. So now I have extra vintage cards that are like a 70s theme. I'm trying to open them here so I can show you. I'm gonna quickly go through them. Um, some of them are like obviously less 70s than others, but I thought they're all pretty cool. So I am actually able to make up a few extra packs. And so basically if you like what you see um, uh, of the Orchid member, which is the biggest pack, you can either sign up to be a Patreon member and receive your pack along with a welcome pack or I'm going to actually probably list a couple packs on my website um, that will have a little bit of a bigger selection of things. And so you can also, those are so cute. Um, and so you can check out either of those if they interest you, or you can just stick around and see what I do with one of these packs as far as the layout goes. I love these. I'm thinking of scanning a few um, for Patreon members as well. Um, I believe this pack is supposed to be similar to this one, so I'm not going to open that one up, but these ones are adorable. And this this was a, um, I got all of these from an Etsy seller called 901 Stacy. Um, I'll put the link below because she has a lot of fun vintage cards. Look how darling this is. I'm going to have to make a couple of journals with these. And she gave me a bunch of extras too, so definitely go check out her shop. Um, I don't know her personally, and so, yeah, I'm just giving her a shout out because I liked what uh, I got. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to show you what I sent to my lilies. I did send something out to my dandelion members this month, which I usually do, um, and it was one of the vintage playing cards and then either a sticker or a tag just as an extra little goodie. Um, so my lily members got a vintage playing card and most of them were a different image. I actually just got this from the packs I showed you and stuck it in here because I was all out. A little welcome note, a sticker, and then the main item was a Polaroid pocket and I tie dyed these with inks and made them into a little pocket. I included on the side a little daisy so if you wanted to put it on here, you could, but I just, for this tier, I went ahead and just included it on the side. And then a cute little record player tag. And it has a sticker on each side with the main sticker being the little record. The rose members, and I do have a few of these spots still available right now as I'm filming as well. Um, so the welcome note, some type of a 70s sticker. So these are what the vintage playing cards look like that I included for most. And some of them have a white background rather than black. A record tag and it has some fun little fibers. You get the little Polaroid pocket and I did attach the daisy on these ones. And then the rose members, the additional item is a sewn quilted card and I used a bunch of like 70s vintage sheets for these. Um, not all of the fabrics are, but most of them were. And then you get a five piece little pack that includes just the basics, um, stickers, tags, and guest checks. Okay, my favorite pack is for my orchid members. Again, I have a handful of these left because I did make extras this month because it was such a cute month. Um, so the welcome note, a sticker, and there's a variety of stickers. And then the Polaroid pockets that were included for the Orchid members are a little bit more detailed as in they have a piece of acetate. So 
let me show you. Here's the vintage card and this one, you can see the white background. Um, so let's see. So if you access the pocket from the top here, I hope you can see there's that piece of acetate that just makes it look a little bit more like a picture frame. And I can't wait to see how you guys use these. I'm so excited. And then the additional uh, detail also is that I sewed these on because I found out that the acetate was not liking my glue. So I wasn't actually planning to sew, but I had to because I had already started gluing. Um, oops, I included an extra sticker in my own pack because, well, I can. <laughs> um, the quilted card, and they're all, you know, a little bit different, but super fun. You get a stamped and dyed card. And then of course you get your record tag. There's quite a bit in this pack this month and I'm so excited. And you get two pieces of muslin trim that I tie dyed. And they're probably about between five and six inches each. Definitely enough if you wanna use them as journal closures or get creative and use them a different way. And I put them all in a little pack so they're separate. And then Orchid members get a 10 piece kit and I'll just show you a real quick example. Little labels, they all vary a little bit. Merchandise tags, a couple of those. 70s theme stickers. I included a little um, journal card with the fun uh, paper that I had. Vocabulary card, Rolodex card, tag, guest check, and a little sample of this really fun vintage wallpaper. So now let's go ahead and take the orchid pack. I'm gonna push these things up a little bit. Grab my inspiration journal. And I am, I'm gonna try to give myself a little challenge here. I wanna do a quick layout in under 10 minutes. So first of all, I'll take a minute just to find a spot that I want to put everything on. This journal is starting to fill up like fun. Oh, this kind of like looks like a 70s image here, but let's see. I won't take too much longer to figure it out. Let's go with this one. This is actually perfect. Yep. Okay, so let's go ahead. I actually have no idea what I'm going to do here, but I wish I had a picture so that I, because honestly, if I was realistically using a photo frame like this, I probably would put an actual picture in here, but you know what, we're just gonna get creative and go with it. So let's get started. I'm at seven, almost eight minutes. So I'm gonna see if I can do this in under 10 minutes. So let's get started. Okay, so I already had this idea that I kind of wanted to add my tag up at top. And so I think I'm gonna do that just to make it quick. I'm going to just use a hole punch, whereas normally I might use an eyelet, but Let's just do this a little quick. I don't think it's, I don't really know that you would see the eyelet to be completely honest. So let's not worry about that detail. I'm just gonna thread this through. And tie it to the top. I'm gonna try to make sure I'm in the frame as well. Honestly, these, these little pockets will probably be cute even if you didn't put a picture or something in them now that I think about it, because they all have a cute little background. But for the sake of the video, oh, you know what? Since I do have access to all of the playing cards, I think I want to cheat a little bit because I can. <laughs> but again, if I were actually doing this in my personal journal, I would probably put like a photo or something in here. I'm going to go ahead and just slip that down like that. My dog is thinks I'm talking to him. And even though it's not like the exact same size, I think it looks cute since we have that cute um, paper behind I'm not gonna glue it down, I'm just gonna add it like that. Okay, so I'll have to figure out how I wanna attach this, but let's take a look, because we have all kinds of other fun things. We have our card. Like this. Ooh, I could almost even just kind of start collaging these things on, which I usually, think these things through a little bit more, but I kind of just want to start gluing things down because it's all so cute. Uh, okay, let's make sure you can see me. Perhaps I am going to keep this a little side pocket though. So I noticed guys that um, I didn't use, I must not have used a stainless steel pin to go in my glue. And so 
when I'm gluing. Sometimes a little bit of rust is in the glue, um, but that's okay. I just need to get a better pen for the closure. Okay, I'm gonna go like that. I could also add like one of my stickers. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna put a sticker kind of like this. We'll go like that. Um, we have a Rolodex card, which would also go really well. My dog decided he wanted outside right now. I'm just gonna glue down the wallpaper. I hear my dog, he just came to the door. He's like, what are you doing in there, mom? He doesn't usually even get up because he's usually sleeping, but I can tell he wants outside. It's a sunny day. This wallpaper was like in a roll, so I, it, it's gonna take a little finessing to get it flat, but I know if I put something heavy on it and gave it time, it'll dry flat. So we're just gonna mess with that later. Um, I might take one of these little tags and just, since I have a little pocket here, just to show that it's a pocket and then it'll be like a little tab as well. And I feel like Rolodex cards definitely go well with this whole theme. But of course I want to make it a little extra cool. Hmm. Groovy mama, it says. I'm trying to decide what to do for my last step before I add. I don't think I'll add this card over here because it's a little too much over here, but um, we'll go like that, I think. Oh, I have the trim also. What could we do with that? What could we do with that? <gasps> you know what would be kind of fun? To turn this into a little journal topper. Is this big enough, this little bag? I hope you guys get what I'm saying. And it would be like a little flip. It would be better if it was bigger. Oh, what if we used, I'm gonna close my envelope here and I'm just folding it in half. I know you can't see me right this sec, but. I almost put two things in there, but we don't really need to. Um, kind of want to go for it. Yep, I'm gonna go for it. So I'm just gonna add glue. Like that. And I could trim the envelope down, but I don't think I'll just Let's see, I'm just gonna keep it that size, that's okay. And uh, I'm quickly gonna grab a an ink dauber that has a little bit of leftover orange ink on it and just go around. I love these layouts just because I do really think outside <laughs> the box quite a bit as far as like using the envelopes and using like everything I possibly can. I'm gonna cut this in half because I don't need very big closures for this. And so I'm just gonna cut it in half. And I'm also just gonna try my best to staple them on. It'll be like a cute little booklet, I guess you could say. I could add pages, but I don't think I will. I'm going to try to actually staple this onto the actual envelope. So should have done that before, but that's okay. Cute. Okay. We can tie those closed or whatever. It's really just kind of for looks. Hmm. Well, I guess it does have a function too because it'll keep this closed. Okay, now we can just go ahead and I'm just gonna let this overlap some of these things. 
and then I'll decide if I want to add anything else and then decide if I want to add anything else to the right side of the layout here. Okay, like that. And I love the little hangy tag. That's kind of what I had envisioned this whole time. Okay, over here. It might be fun to tie in this trim over here and I'm trying to flatten it out just a little bit. Okay, we have about three minutes, so I'm just going to staple it on and I'll just staple it a few times down the page. Whoops, sorry, hit you. It would look cool soon, but that's okay. Okay, so we have some trim and gosh, I already use a playing card over here, so I won't cheat and use my extra one, but that would be a cute little look too. And then I do have my Rolodex card. So I could just keep this blank or part of me wants to add a little pocket so I can put my, I like to put my little welcome notes in here just for me to remember like what month, it's kind of a way of date stamping in I guess. Oh, and I could date stamp over here. If I had my date stamp and I do, and it is, oh, we gotta hurry, hurry. May uh, 14th in 2024 okay just gonna use what i have close by which is some brown ink and figure out i'm gonna put my sticker and again i'm kind of cheating by using a second sticker but really I, I imagine if you guys are making layouts at home you can use things that you have in your stash as well i'm gonna because i kind of like the words showing we like that and then there we go. Okay. And I don't really want to cover up most of this picture because I love it. So I think I'm just going to make it into a little pocket, I think. Like that, like that. Like that. And then we put our little card just peeking out up here. Like that. Um, I could add this little card too. Everything's going to be kind of peeking out kind of high, but that's okay. We'll just go like that because that could be like a little journaling card for some journaling if I wanted. Okay, I think we're good. I have obviously some leftover things, but I never really try to use everything, just whatever I'm feeling. So. There we go. Um, gosh, I almost feel like I could add another one of these stickers over here. I don't feel like I'm actually overdoing it, I think. Yeah. Okay, we're going to stop there. And I definitely made it close to 10 minutes. So I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing me make this layout. Again, I can't wait to see how you guys use your packs check out the description if you're wanting to try to get one from patreon or if i have them up on my website um the the larger bonus packs i'm not sure what to call them yet i'll have that link below as well it'll be on my website paperterrace.com whenever i do get to that well i hope you guys have a lovely day and i'll see you soon bye